on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> What, what the hell? Why are your clothes? It was hot, so I just I, to make them disappear. Why? I mean, and why are you here? I wanted to see you. Wait, are you drunk? No. D don't you lie to me. I can smell it from here. As yes, Ryoko tackles Izuku. Him pretty much yelling, telling her to go with him. But her just whining like a child, saying, oh, he's being mean. And this is when Inko and Ryooki show up, pretty much shocked at the whole scene, while Inko is pretty much, get your hands off my son. Yeah, as I can see, Inko has changed a considerable amount. Ryooki is embarrassed that her sister is acting like this. So she decides to help Izuku by increasing the gravity to the point where Ryoko can't move anymore. Which, in hindsight, seemed like a good and good idea. But what I ended up doing is pretty much making it so she was too heavy and she fell onto Izuku with her boobs in his face. He gets a bloody nose Inko tells Ryoki to fix the gravity. Izuku is passed out. And that's pretty much it. All the rest of his time is before he actually goes to UA. On the first day, he sees Bakugo, in which Bakugo is still arrogant, but he's not as arrogant as he was, what he would be, considering all the fact that Izuku stood up to him and pretty much technically won, especially when Paris got involved. And yeah, yeah, though he does still have a powerful quirk, and, yeah, he knows Izuku by now when it comes to the notebooks, research, and all that. Yeah, Izuku is not going to late. Bago push him around, you could say. And since he does have notebooks on quirks, Bago knows that, okay, yeah, he knows my weaknesses and strengths. He knows several ways to beat me. For all I know, he most likely knows my, my fighting style. So, yeah, Bogo is actually more cautionary around Izuku. Now, when it comes to the whole fact of the quirk apprehension test, Izuku still doesn't have a quirk, so he's still... He does better on the other portions, since he doesn't have to break his finger or anything. But he and Mineta are neck and neck when it comes to who's going to get expelled. Luckily, like it was a ruse and not real life. You didn't mean it. It's a good heavy, but also... <sighs> Thank God. Man, I was like, yes. Oh, man, that was so close. I was so scared. I was so when it comes to these, the whole heroes versus villains, again, Izuku knows Bakugo. 
Embargo knows this, so he actually listens to Ida when it comes to making up a plan. Okay, Izuku is quirkless. They know that. But for some reason, he has more power than what you would expect a quirkless person to have. And when it comes to his hero costume, though it does seem not like much, it actually does enhance his strength to at least be able to break through walls, concrete walls. So, what comes to the whole fight, Izuku actually beats Bongo particularly well to the point where he can't even pull the pin up the scotlets. And he and Oraka double team Ida. Wait, that sounds. Eh, fuck it. Hero team wins. When it comes to USJ, there's a, a snag. Izuku doesn't have one for all, so that plan that he had to get off the shipwreck zone doesn't bode well. When it comes to the Nomu and the hero attack, he does the, oh man, I might regret this. He calls up Ryaoki and she brings Ryaoki. Oh, go. Okay. You see, they, the fellas don't stand a chance here at all. It's not even fair. It is bullying. It is a massacre. When it comes to the Rio Ryoko just one-shots him. Because of the villains, they they underestimate Ryoki so much that they don't even acknowledge her, which pisses her off. She crushes them under the, her gravity powers. So, yes, when it comes to Shigaraki, he's pretty much like, well, how is this happening? How did they get here? Are these heroes? I don't know. I've never seen or heard of them ever. How are they this powerful? So yeah, they have no choice but to leave. When all my and the other heroes do get there, they're pretty much like, what? Um, can someone explain? As then Ryooki and Ryoko just tackle Izuku, hugging him, just asking, is he okay? Mineta, Kaminari, and Sero want a real explanation on this, and when it comes to Ryoki, the only character, it's just a, a cabot or grabbit, you know. But when it comes to Ryoko, hugging him, being so shameful, just don't care who's there, who knows how far it could have gone if she really felt like it. So, yeah, what's going on here? Oh, these are my... Where's lovers? What? <laughs> Just looking. He's like, what? And Ryo, he's just calling up Nessie Izuku. Remember, still in the rabbit cat form. It's... Oh, you sick bastard. What? You believe her? I see the proof of my own eyes. Her, I understand, but this poor animal. I don't know how. How do they deal with this? I don't think. Shut the fuck up. What? Who said that? Just, as real Oki is talking, it's like shut up and leave Izuku alone. Bakugo seeing this for the first time is like, wait, this thing can talk? This thing can talk this whole time? He was just like, wait, why didn't you talk before? Because you were a jerk. I didn't like you at all. What? That's not a good reason not to voice. So what you're saying? Wait, wait, are you the reason why he's so strong now? Uh. I knew it! I knew there was something!
something wrong here. I can't believe this. Wait, and you? What about me? I don't even know who you are. I don't care, as long as Izuku is okay. In fact, I remember hearing about some stories about you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I heard you were quite the jerk to my lover here. Uh, I, I, I mean, I was such a, I was a kid back then. Oh, yes. Yes, you were. Makes sense. Kids are known for being stupid every now and again. Right? See, right? But now, it's time for you to get your long overdue ass whooping. What? As yes, Ryoko chucks Bakugo and lays him over her lap and effectively whoops him. Bare ass and all. As all the teachers, the heroes, the students, Izuku, Ryoki, they are watching this and can't help but feel kind of sorry for Bakugo in this case. He's being humiliated in front of everybody, especially all my of all people. There. Hope you learned your lesson. Why? Because sometimes a misbehaved child really needs to get their ass whooped. I already faced my punishment for that years ago. I was grounded. <laughs> that ain't no, that, ain't, that punishment ain't always good enough. I'm not need your ass whooped. But the, that, that's counted as a child abuse now. What? So, taking the belt, a switch, your hand, and whooping a child is wrong now? Why? So, so what? Do, do y'all just get timeouts? Is that it? How is that going to be any real deterrent? From doing anything bad if all you get is uh, your device is taken away or something. That is stupid. <sighs> you know what? This is not worth it. Come on, he's a good go home. Yoki can't give us a ride. No. What? No. You can fly! Yeah, so you can too. Hmm. No. If I'm giving you one a ride, it's gonna be Izuku. What? Hey, he's gonna ride. Don't <laughs> you finish that sentence? What was she gonna say? Nuh-uh. What was she gonna say? Nothing. At all. Whatever. No, it doesn't even matter. We'll find out we have a relationship soon enough. What? I declare a home visit. For one is Madoya. Okay. Manetta, there is no way as everyone just raises their hands. Especially All Might. Like Seriously? Oh yeah. Seriously. But why? Because we are actually quite interested in the company you keep. <sighs> huh? I'm coming, I'm coming. 
As Ingo opens the door and she sees Izuku, Ryoki, and Ryoko, followed by a whole bunch of other people. Them wondering, like, is this the Midoriya residence? Yes, it is. Why are you guys here? To see how your son lives. Well, what's that supposed to mean? We want to make sure that he's getting everything he needs. Okay, okay. Explain. Izuku. Have to give a brief explanation. It's like, damn it. You should have seen this coming when you, you summoned them. I, I, I didn't know this was going to happen. Bullshit. Man, what happened to you? You know exactly what happened. <laughs> Oh, you don't you dare lie. Do you have any idea how much booze I have in here? Excuse me? You can't have any. Uh, what was that? Just Ryoko. No, -uh, that's mine. You, you can't have any of it. That That's yours? Yes. Miss Midoriya got it for me. Wait. How old are you exactly? No. <sighs> Heck, I'm old enough to know your grandparents' grandparents' grandparents, probably. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's funny, that's funny. Oh, that's, that's a good one. There's, there's no one that old. Her just having a stone face. Sure. But are you at least of age to drink? Oh, yes, I am. Believe me. I could drink any of you so-called heroes under the table. Oh, really? Oh, my, just like, wait, let's not, let's not do this. Please. And then midnight, just like, no, no. I feel like I've been, we, we, we've been challenged. <laughs> Please don't let this happen. Please, I'm I'm begging you. Please don't, please don't do this. As yes, the drinking is on and everyone is unconscious except for Ryoko, Izuku, Inko, and Ryoki, as well as the whole students of Class One A, saying that yes, all the teachers, including Midnight, have been defeated in the game of drink. Ugh. Man, I remember bro, one of the dumbest things I've ever done. It was early Christmas morning. Five shots of liquor back to back, and I went right back to sleep without drinking any damn water. Yeah, That was terrible. Never doing that again. <clears throat> anyway. Once he Ryoku Go is pretty much crowned the victor. Izuku was like, please, can, can we do something else? Oh, what did you have in mind? Her wrapping her arms around him in front of his students and, and families. And, you know. <sighs> Doria, you lucky bastard. He is lucky to have me, isn't he? Her just holding him tighter. All the girls are pretty much... Why do we feel like we just been insulted or defeated? Is them they noticed something. Momo is suspiciously quiet. Being the whole mom of the whole class is pretty much like... Huh. Ryoko, huh? Yeah, that's my name. So what? Oh, nothing. Just interesting. Uh huh. So what's your last name? Why you ask? Oh, just curious. Midoriya. What? 
Yoko Midoriya, because I'm definitely marrying th this guy here once he gets old enough. Seeing Izuku blush and seeing images of their honeymoon, his mindscape, Mineta, Kaminari, and Sero pass out through no bleeds. It's pretty much like, okay, what was your first last name? Why are you keep asking all these questions? Just curious. Hmm. You know what they say, don't you? Curiosity killed the nosy bitch. No. I don't think that's how it goes. Well, either way, it seems like someone's about to die over for too many questions and being a nosy. <coughs> Was it? Uh, as they see a demon in the shape of Inko. Uh, <clears throat> as soon as those heroes wake up, please, would you escort them home, Miss Ryoko? Bye bye bye. I would really appreciate it. But I I really would appreciate it if you'd clean up your own mess for once. Uh, uh. Hmm. She's being mean. <laughs> I nope. Nope. I ain't I ain't touching that. No nope. I'm I'm not getting in the middle of that bullshit. Heck, I ain't no dummy. As yes, All Might is the first to come to his senses after that terrifying display of what the hell did we do last night? No thing. It's like, oh, oh, I smell like alcohol. Huh? It's just a nosy. Please come back anytime. Hopefully, you won't be passed out drunk. Love, the Midoriya family. Oh my god, it was real. It was all real. As you can just imagine, Izuku pretty much thinking, You, you embarrassed the heroes. Oh, please. If anything, it wasn't my fault. Blame that uh, midnight woman. She just wanted to start this. You didn't have to egg her on. True. But she didn't have to start no shit. Hmm. No, it's still your fault. You didn't have to call me your lover. But isn't that what you are? Uh... We haven't even done anything. At least nothing to write home about. What? It goes, ears perking your nose, like, what was, what was that supposed to mean? Oh, you should see your son when he's half asleep. Oof. Goodness, he actually is like, what are you talking about? You yeah, okay, he's like, Oh, that. What, what are you talking? What, we okay? You know something? Well, uh, it happened. It happened so quickly. I didn't know what to really do. What happened? Well, you see, you you get uh, a little bit grabby, grabby when. What do you mean, grabby? Please explain. Oh, sure, I can just uh, show you this footage I took. What? Oh, yes. That was the first time I snuck into your room. Ugh. I decided to document 
our other late night visits. Wait, this is wrong! But it felt so right. As yes, there is footage of Izuku pretty much filling up Ryoko. While he is half asleep, half awake, doesn't know what he's really doing, but it's like, okay, I know what I'm doing. So, for one, the murderous demon aura emulates from Inko again. Two, Izuku gets a bloody nose, which makes it even worse. And Ryoko is smiling, an evil, devilish smile, saying how much this is getting to him. And that, yes, he actually does like what he's seeing and hearing. But then, it gets coupled with, like, I knew it! Oh! Him turning his head and seeing one Manetta in the window, watching this. It's like, oh my god, we gotta stop here before he tells the whole class. Wait, well, wait. <laughs> they ain't gonna believe him. Never mind, never mind. This is the next day of class. Izuku notices a weird noise coming from the classroom. Him opening it, and it's one of the veils that Ryoko took of her late night visits. As everyone is looking back. And Izuku is like, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, 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 I, I, I can't explain. Uh. <sighs> Midoriya. Kaminari? Midoriya? Zero? Midoriya. Manetta! How far did you go? Huh? How far? How plus ultra did you go with her? I... 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 I did it! Just hearing the noises in the background... Like, I swear I didn't do anything wrong! I know. I know, Midoriya. It felt so right, I know. It must feel so good that you couldn't help it. Don't worry. I I feel your pain. Bitch, there's no way in hell you've done anything that I've done. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, really? We're going to go there? L look, I didn't mean it to just sound like that. Oh, no. No, no it's fine. It, it's fine. Go ahead. Hurt, hurt my feelings. <laughs> Understand? Just because the way I look, you don't think I can... It's not that. It's just... Wait, how'd you even get this thing? Huh? You heard me. How'd you even get this footage? Uh... Um... Uh, as then, Ryoko shows up. And this one is where... Oh, hey, Izuku. Ryoko? Uh-huh. What is the meaning of this? Oh, you must mean our late night cold time. No. 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 I mean, yes, that is what I mean. But why are you bringing the videos here? Oh, because this little walking grapevine pretty much said that it was part of a class project. Did he now? Sensing impending doom coming from Midoriya is pretty much when Midoriya decides, like, I have no regrets. I won't have her regrets either, as he is about to kill Mineta, but Ryoki steps in and says, please don't. You want to be a hero, don't you? Yes, and I am trying to rid the world of this scourge. 
He's not that bad. He's not. We got okay. Huh? Oh, you must be Miss Gairuzu. Yeah. So, hmm. Wait. Hmm? What is it? Something about you seems familiar. Can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Oh, well, it's probably nothing. But either way, Izuku, please. Don't do this. I know killing him may seem worth it. But trust me, as many people who have died in the world due to certain circumstances it is not worth it. Ugh. Why? Why? Why does he have to live? It'll be so easy. It'll be quick. No, it won't. It'll be painless. No, it won't. Well, just let me do it once. If you kill him once, it'll be only once. Exactly. He's ruining my reputation. Really? Your, your reputation. As soon as me and my sister showed up, you already knew your reputation was going to be out the window. Especially when Ryoko shows up. Wait, sister? You, you two are sisters? Man, I just like, never mind, kill him. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, they're sisters. So what? How is that possible again? Please explain that to me. Oh, it's a simple process, meaning none of your business. No, I'm actually curious. I'm possibly intrigued right now. Like, where are you guys from again? None of your business. That's where we're from. Hmm. We'll come back to that, little nugget. No, no, we won't. As the school day ends, they are told about the sports festival. And yes, Izuku is busy training off in space, in, as well as. No, this thing is a. So you say you. Momo looks familiar? Yeah. I can't really describe it, but. It's almost like I've seen her somewhere before, or at least someone like her. Hmm. Weird. But still, you know. It's still we expected. <sighs> Morning, Ryoko. Yeah, uh, where's the booze? There isn't any. Uh, what? Oh, come on, how could... You drunk all of it! I did. Yes! Huh. Oh well. Let's go get some more. No! Oh, come on, this place is so boring. Why do we keep going to different planets for Izuku just to train? Who knows? There might be a civilization out there who's made the perfect brew in the world. And might have something worth stealing. No, Ryoko. Your pirating days are over. Uh, who, who died and made you captain? And this is my ship. <laughs> I'm your sister. I am not your property. I am family. Now I apologize for our jettison you out the airlock. <laughs> I can survive in space, yeah, but 
We aren't near any planets with the precious alcohol that you crave. Oh. I'll be good. I thought so. As now it's the day of sports results. Izuku does not really do as good. Only well, sir, he does still get first place because the whole Oscar race, but uh when it comes to him not having quirk, everyone knows, but you also know that he's no real pushover. So, the team is the same, but Izuku decides to utilize Dark Shadow even more. Though, yes, it's weaker in light. Izuku's no dummy and knows that Tokiyami has had to train him just to make him stronger. Now, when it comes to the fights, Ishiku does even better when it comes to Shinso because he's not a complete idiot. And though, yes, he may get angry about Shinso talking shit about his friends, he knows, like, okay, he's trying to get me to talk to him and answer him. I can't fall for this. Ugh, seriously, I live with Ryoko, so I can definitely drown out noise. As he beats down Shinzo, not giving him the chance to utilize his quirk. But then Izuku, being the anime protagonist he is, he does offer his hand to Shinzo and asks him, like, uh, so is your quirk all you rely on? Uh, well, I, I mean, it, it's kind of overpowered. What does it do? It was like, <clears throat> okay. Now lay down on the ground. Slap yourself. As he's goes then put out a trance. He's like, what? Oh yeah, that's my quirk. As yes, while the other matches are going on the way, Izuku does talk more with Shinzo, talking about how people consider his quirk to be rather villainous, and uh, yeah, his whole destiny was kind of predetermined in their eyes. Izuku is actually kind of pissed. You know, yes, he doesn't have a quirk, he doesn't really know much of when it comes to having a villainous one, he does know what it feels like to be looked down upon because of something you had no control over. So they actually bond over this, and Izuku decides to actually help one known as Shinso. Him actually train with him, but leaving the whole thing about Real Oki being a ship secret. Now, when it comes to him versus Toroki, Izuku does his best, but he does end up losing. He does end up getting Toroki to uses fire side still, but yeah, he without one for all, he's he's not doing anything. Sorry. So everything else ends the same as it really would. Only thing is because of Stain, he's already been captured by Ryoko. She went to the store to get booze, saw him about to kill a hero, stopped him in the story. And Jim, at least his brother, he is safe. He doesn't have to worry about not being a hero anymore. So, yay! Happy ending! When Stain is actually in jail, he's Actually, talking with Rio, Key and Ryoko. Them pretty much like, so you kill unworthy heroes because it will force them to make better quality heroes. No, that won't. If you start killing heroes willy nilly, whether you see them as worthy or not, that would pretty much mean. There'll be a shortage of them. And heroes are more than just heroes. They're, they're kind of like a, a product. And 
when supply starts to, you know. Oh. So what you're saying is, yeah, if there are enough heroes to actually help, chances are people will start to turn to vigilantism. They're going to start giving hero licenses to any schmuck who want their shot at fame and fortune. So, yeah, your idea does sound somewhat, you know. I, I, uh, I never thought of it like that. Um, thank you. <sighs> Don't mention it. Just stop being such an idiot. What? Yeah, I said it. I'm not taking it back. Think things through while you're incarcerated. Goodbye. Now, when it comes to the whole internship, Oh, he's a good did well. At least well enough. Uh, it's not really much to really impress anyone, so he decides, like, you know what? Screw the internship. I'll just keep training and get stronger. Ugh, I gotta find a way to really beat Toroki if we had to go through that again. So, yeah, I could have used my support gear. It wouldn't feel right. Hmm. Man, if one there was somewhere else I could train. As then he is approached by Momo. I know your secret. What secret? Oh, that I like All Might? Uh, it's not really much of a secret. I mean, yeah, I like him just. And that's not as much as I used to, I don't think. I mean, I still got some of the merchandise, but you know, not that secret yet. That you're harboring two fugitives. Huh? As yes, that is how that whole interaction ends. And then it cuts to Izuku freaking the fuck out as... Oh my god, we've been discovered. Or at least you two have been discovered. Like, what are you talking about? Momo, young girl, who she's learned the truth. What truth? That you're space pirates. Well, at least you're a space pirate. You're a ship, I guess. Please, how could she possibly know who we are? Don't you see the signs? Mmm, no, not really. Oh, man, I, I can't, I just can't with you. Hey, don't be an ass. I just saying, she can't be all tough. I mean, her quirk is what creation it was. Yeah. <laughs> So why are you so worried? I mean, yeah, it could be helpful at times, but uh, at the end of the day, she probably lose so much weight she'll be a skeleton to even take on one of us. Let alone someone as dangerous as me. All she has to do is bribe you with alcohol and you will tell her anything. Ugh. Oh, come on, that is not true. Are you sure? Yeah. So she didn't bribe you? No. Hell, I don't know who the hell she is. It's real Oki who said she recognized her. Hmm. Yeah. But, that's weird, but who? How? I'm, I'm yeah, don't worry about it let's continue our training and worry about it in the morning or something or after these internships are done yeah, if anything I'm getting really bored you're always bored exactly if only there was someone who could keep me entertained no 
cheese. No, I just don't want to lose my innocence yet. Yet, you say? Oh, oh man, what have I done? As yes, this is where we cut to one Miss Yairosa. Oh, wait. Ryoko? Yes! But she... Last time we saw her, she was... I know. So, what you're saying is... Ryoko is... Free! <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, that's complete nonsense. There's no way. I mean... To get out of prison? Mm, it's possible, Dad. What are we talking about? Yoko Hobby. What? <coughs> what? Her? What about her? She, she uh, well, our daughter says she's free. Momo, you should not be joking like that. Mom? I swear. She looks exactly like her. Well, that could just be a coincidence. Yeah, I tell you, she one shot that Nomo thing. And she probably has a strong quirk. You see, she can fly. She has. There's a cat rabbit hybrid thing named Ryoki. What? You heard me? I'd be right about this. Uh, oh, not you too. Like, come on, it's, it can't be that much of a coincidence. I mean, how many humans actually do know about, you know, the Dryan royal family or Ryoko the space pirate with her ship? Wait, the ship is alive? Yeah. Didn't you read the... Oh, it's just so boring politics. It was a water poster! Potato, potato. And didn't you hear about the recent robberies of bars? They said they saw her and they are completely out of stock. Oh, well, that could be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know many other criminals who like alcohol as much as uh, Ryoko. Do you? Uh, um, well, I, I, that's what I thought. Uh, seriously, why now? Why? Wait. We are okay. We didn't imprison her, did we? No. So. Hmm. This is interesting. Maybe that's who we should start questioning. Oh yeah, that mission the cat rabbit thing can talk. What? Oh yeah, also has this gem on his head, and oh yeah, Ryoko has these gems on her, her wrist. Oh my God, you should sure live with that. Yep, that's her, all right. Well, <clears throat> time to be heroes. What? She is a highly dangerous criminal. Are you kidding me? For all we know, she's threatening your classmate and his mom. It seems more like she's trying to bang him. Oh, that poor boy. What? You, you don't understand. Once he has some real code, there is no going back from that. How, how would you know that? Huh? No, seriously. Dear, dear husband of mine, how would you know that? Uh, <coughs> um, uh, what if 
posters. Hmm. I'm going to talk about that later. Fuck. Either way, so... You really think she's going to be that bad or that crazy? To, oh, please. She alone is dangerous enough, but add on Ryoki. That thing is on par with several dry ships. Royal ships. It can even make light up wings. Excuse me? Yes! So yes, if Ryoki is there, we definitely need to tell somebody. We have to. It is our duty. Um, but Dad, uh, no buts. Go ahead. Let's call your cousin Aiga. <gasps> no. Yes. I'm sorry. It has to be done. No, it doesn't. We can take care of this ourselves. No, we can't. <sighs> okay, fine, fine. Just please. Just. I don't want to do this. <sighs> okay, time to go on. Go get hammered. Hmm? Hmm. Looks like young Midoriya has left his door opened. Such a naive little boy. As Ryoko is slowly tiptoeing while flying, oddly, into Izuku's room, but then she notices Ryoki. Th no, that's sly. As yes, Izuku is cuddling with Ryoki. Not doing anything, Ravi, just hugging her. But. Ryoko, she wants to stop this just so she can get some quality time with Izuku, but she's like, you know what? And it's just hugging. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. As then she sees Ryoki start to snuggle up closer to Izuku, and sees a glimpse of her eyes being open with a devilish smile. Oh, you is <coughs> huh? who said that you go facing through the walls as Zuku knows this. Yo, okay what are you doing here I got scared uh <clears throat> okay fine you can stay who knows maybe you'll ward off Ryoko Aye, aye, sir. They going about to sleep. Yoko pretty much fuming is like, oh, oh, I could, okay, okay. I, I see what you're doing. That's that's clever. I ain't gonna lie. But damn it, people always trust cute little animals more than they would trust me. Not knowing that that. Cute little animal is God knows how old. Hmm. That's right. Does Izuku know that? Hmm. Maybe if, if someone were to tell him, maybe he wouldn't be so close with my sister. <laughs> As in, the next day, Izuku was pretty much getting ready for, for school, and, uh, uh, Ryoko, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, oh, we, we, no, no, nothing at all. Uh, but seriously, 
When's the last time we spent your birthday, Ryoki? Huh? Uh, I don't know. It's been. I mean, I was sleeping for so long. It's uh, like, oh no, no worries. As she pops up with a cake with so many zeros, Izuku's like, whoa. Oh yeah, did you know? Ryoki is a lot older than you think. Oh yeah, I knew that. What? Oh yeah, I just didn't know how old. What? Yeah, she told me a long time ago. What? And you still let her sleep in the bed with you? Wait. What? How would you know? Wait, did I leave my... Wait, where's I... Wait a minute. As he just picks up Ryoki and just looks her right in the eye. Like, okay, you're the one that kept my door open. Her not looking at him in the eyes. Okay, so that, to that is a yes. And you were awake. Awake. Yes. Okay, you admit that. Thank goodness. So what you're saying is you pretty much did all that. Just to make sure Ryoko didn't try anything. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. I wanted to protect you from this vixen. Oh. oh, that is some primo bullshit right there. Is it? Is it really? How else would you know that I was sleeping with Izuku? Uh, 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 see? Uh, uh, okay, that's not fair. She is lying to you. I looked her right in the eyes, and she gave an evil, devilish smirk. Oh, that's impossible. Real okay would never do such a thing as Izuku's petting her just like <laughs> oh you don't get it she's tr she's fooling you no the only one who's trying anything indecent is you Ryoko now say sorry to Ryoki excuse me yes for such baseless accusations I know her. I've been with her for years. Yes, I'm surprised she hasn't been corrupted by your thirstiness. <laughs> what? You serious? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Shame. As yes, we all go again pissed with the scene that we all is enjoying the show. While still in Izuku's arms. It's like, you know what? Fuck this. What? Wait, what are you doing? It's like, I'm going to ch show you the truth. As then, Izuku, as well as Ryogi and Ryoko, they bump heads and begin a weird little mind meld in which Izuku gets a glimpse of the thought process of Ryoki. So he's like, Are you serious? And I'm just still holding her. Like, um. You sly little. Look, I can't explain. Was I trying to get closer to you? Yes. Was I trying to protect you from my, my sister? Also, yes, but uh, you have to understand, uh, you were one of the nicest people I ever met. I get that. The only thing is, I can't do anything with you at all. What? Why not? You are a cat rabbit hybrid. What can I possibly do? 
Feed me carrots. Cuddle with me. Let me sleep on your lap. I mean, oh, now I get what you're saying. Yeah. If anything, I could only treat you more like a pet in public. I can't really go on a date with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I I see your point. I mean, we we all go. Yeah, I can do that with her, but you know she's ancient. <coughs> uh, what? Oh no! I, yeah, you still getting some of the shade too. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely do more with Ryoko than you, because she has a human alloy body. You know, you two are basically the same. She, you know, she actually ha has a human-based form. Which is not nearly as weird or looked down upon.